Today we're gonna talk about how Mr. Beast literally broke the YouTube algorithm. This man has exploded, and if you have not heard of him already, you might be kind of a crazy person. You're like living under a rock as he was growing fast. Like what was he doing during that period before he really took off? Because it honestly took him a lot of years before he took off on YouTube. Like he was putting out consistent videos on YouTube for years, and then he never blew up until he was doing one thing in particular. Now, if you are new to the channel, my name is Justin Yurong, and I don't typically talk about this stuff. I usually talk about real estate investing, teach you how to do it, because I've helped hundreds of people make money in real estate. But today, we're gonna stick to Mr. Beast and content and blowing up, essentially. How do you hack the YouTube algorithm like he did? Now, there's one very important thing that Mr. Beast did, and really, it's paying close, close attention to your analytics on YouTube. So, in an interview, he said all he did was pay very close attention to his YouTube analytics and he sped up his progress on YouTube by using and leveraging other people as well. There's a couple key factors to that. One, if you saw in the video, he and his friends used to literally, like they used to make different YouTube videos on their own platforms or whatever. And instead of them like keeping secrets from each other, saying like, hey, like, no, this stuff's working, I'm gonna keep it for myself. It's like, no, dude, that's stupid. Like, share with me, we'll learn together, we're gonna progress way faster. And so they studied their analytics super in depth, studying what worked, what did not work, what whatever they'd say. Like, literally on YouTube analytics, if you're not familiar, you can actually see if you say a word or you say a phrase, you can see when the retention drops dramatically and you can also see when it spikes. You can also see when retention is very stable and everyone's kind of watching the whole video through. Um, so you see all these different things and you can identify the certain points of things that you've done in the videos. They're like, oh, like, I guess people didn't like that. Like you can look at a graph and it shows the words or your video of like what people liked and didn't like. But he had so much faster progress because his friends did the exact same thing and they compared notes. They're like, okay, this didn't work for me. And then Mr. Beast would say, this worked well for me, you should try this. And they just kept do doing that back and forth and back and forth. And over time, they made really good videos because I don't care how good you think your videos are, like even for me, I think my education is very good as far as real estate investing goes. I think I teach really well, but I will be the first to admit that my videos aren't the best videos according to YouTube because that's all that really matters. Even though I think my videos are good, YouTube doesn't, the viewer doesn't. Why? Because they think it's boring. They, I can see when they click off, I can see like, oh, I over explained that thing. They just wanted to skip to it and get to the point. And you can see all these different things and over time, like I'm trying to get better at making my videos, but if I had someone else to leverage like their analytics and learn from them as well, I'm sure I would learn twice as fast. If I had two other people to do it, three times as fast, or I'm doing my math wrong, but I would learn so much faster if I had more people kind of paying attention to different analytics, especially if they're in kind of my field. I've listened to a lot of interviews from Mr. Beast, I've studied him a lot, and at the end of the day, he really just talks about making better videos, making more entertaining, more engaging, and you might think that you're trying to be more entertaining or engaging by like doing certain things, you're like being explosive or you know, flamboyant with your arms or whatever, but really it's not about that, it's about the retention. Maybe this does make you watch a little bit longer, I don't know, but it's really just about making the better videos and to do it, you have to pay attention to data. It's just like any other business out there. In business, if you're trying to get better, you have to study your data, like it, for me as a real estate investor. If I'm trying to make a certain amount of money, I have to figure out how many deals I have to get to get a certain amount of deals, I have to figure out how many offers do I have to make every single day. And to do that, like I track the data, like, hey, I made 20 offers this week, 100 this week, 150 this week. If it's inconsistent, it's gonna be bad. And so the same thing applies to this whole content. And if you're trying to be good, like you have to consistently look at your data, consistently try to improve. And once you like analyze, see how it sounds, how it looks, and you look at the data, then you just make each video better than the last. It would be helpful if, if you're making content yourself to connect with other people out there who really are trying to do the same thing that you're doing and don't be afraid to share your information with them. Don't be afraid to share your notes because the internet is so big. Like you think that the niche you're in is very small and small on the internet means big, it means very, very big. Like I'm in the real estate investing space on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, stuff like that. And I think generally it's not that big of a space, but not that big is massive on the internet. Like there's enough room to share for everyone. And the more collaborations you can do, the better off you're gonna be. A lot of people have this kind of 
what is it called? Like a very scarce mindset. A lot of people out there are afraid to share information with other people that will help them because they want to keep it for themselves. And it's just, it's a poor mindset in my opinion. In my opinion, I think everyone should have an abundance mindset where you can share as much information out there for free. You can give stuff for free. You can give your trade secrets for free and you still feel good about yourself because there's more money, there's more attention, there's everything out there to be made. Doing stuff together, then fighting. And like, competition is real. And I, I've noticed in every single industry, like for fitness, I was a personal trainer, I've noticed the competition was heavy. Uh, real estate investing in my market, like it's very heavy because I'm competing against the same exact dudes or girls who are competing me on the same exact house. But on the internet, it's so different, like I openly, I can very openly talk to all my other content creator friends and share all these ideas because it's like, no matter if we're in the same niche, like there's just so many people to try to get as far as their attention. That's how Mr. Beast really broke the YouTube algorithm. He paid attention to the data. And if you're not doing so, you have to do so if you want to actually grow. And if this video is helpful, give this video a like, thumbs up, whatever it is. And if you just wanna learn real estate investing in general, I know this video wasn't about real estate investing, but if you wanna learn the real estate investing in general, how to do it. I want you to click on the link in the description for a free strategy session. Peace.